Hey guys, this is Diana again over at Crafting Parties. So today I'm going to show you this um, really cool um, styrofoam cutting machine. It's a hot wire machine. I got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, I did used to sell the handheld one, but I no longer have it. Um, I, don't, I no longer sell it, I'm sorry. Um, I still have my old one. I don't use it. Um, because the wire burned out and I need to get a replacement for it. But um, I found this really cool one on Hobby Lobby. And what it's really cool about it, well, it first of all, it has a little table, um, which is great. So you can actually um, place your styrofoam on here and um, it comes out a little bit more straight. But what's great about it is that you can also detach it. Let me see if I could do that. I think I need to push it from the bottom. There we go. And you can actually make it a handheld. So you can actually use it like this. I don't know if you could see the hot wire. So you can actually use it as a handheld as well, which is great. And if you go to their site, you get a 40% discount coupon, which is great. So the machine, I, I'm not sure. I, I don't remember, but I'll leave the link down on the bottom. I believe it's $39.95 or $29.95. I'm not sure. But like I said, I'll leave the link down below. And you guys can, can check it out. So um, what I did was I cut some images. Just images that I got... Well, actually, these I bought on Etsy, and I'll leave the link down below as well. And um, these are about six inches, and I just printed them on brochure paper, cover paper, that you buy at your local office supply, um, Home Depot, or, I'm sorry, Office Depot, Staples. Okay, so then what I do is I use um, some adhesive spray like this one. And I spray the back of the image with the spray. And I've already done that on some of them. And then what you do is just take a piece of styrofoam. Once you put the adhesive down on the back, you place it on the styrofoam and like I said I already did some so I already did these right here so these are already attached onto my styrofoam and now let's get ready to use this really cool machine I don't know if you guys can see or not so I'm gonna turn it on well let me see if I could get it a little higher so you guys can see hold on Hopefully this is a little better. You guys can see better. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it on. And you might see um, some smoke coming out. That's perfectly fine. It's, it's well, my, mine, it's fine because it's some of the styrofoam that has gotten stuck on it. So that's why it's doing that. So what I do is I, I cut each image first. So I can work with one at a time. So the little table really helps. Okay, let me see if I can get you guys a little closer. Okay, there we go. So I've got my one image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around the hot wire and you don't you don't really need to push it or anything. It'll just go around the image. Now don't leave it in one place for a long time because it is a hot wire and the styrofoam is very 
easy to melt. So if you leave it in one place for a long time, it could melt it a little further than what you want it. You can always go back if you need, miss a spot. turn it off there you have it you have your image the styrofoam and all you do is just um, stick a little wooden um, stick down on the bottom like let me see if I have one here excuse me Something like this. I don't want to do it right now because I don't know exactly where I want it, but you can just stick it on the bottom and then use it as a centerpiece. Now what I do to most of my images, I like to um, paint the edges and the back because I usually only do them one-sided, but you can do them double-sided. Um, so just so I don't, I don't like just the white on there. So this one I would either do um, a hot pink or maybe a light purple and I would go all around paint it and on the back as well so if you guys have any questions let me know I'll be more than glad to answer them for you um, as I said I'll leave the link down at the bottom for this cutting machine and um, if you haven't subscribed please do so and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye